Virgo, welcome back to Emperor's Light. It's me, Tony, with your spiritual messages for today. All right, we're going to get into your love energies. See what's currently surrounding you in love, what you need to know. What's coming towards you in regards to love, Virgo? Like the video, please. Subscribe to the channel as well so that we continue to grow and you can get more readings like this in the future. Why so polite, Virgo? I'm like, please. <laughs> Okay, Virgo, let's see here. What's the message for you today? What does uh, Spirit want to relate to the call of man in regards to your current love energies? What's coming towards you? We got the three of embers. We have someone on the way. Mm -mm -mm. And who's reading that I just did? Leo? Yeah, there was a... Uh, mm, there was some searching energy or maybe someone was already has already been found, but they're being watched here. Um... The apple of someone's eye is what the message was, but I can't, I don't know who it was for because I know Leo likes to be the center of attention, but I think someone was trying to entice Leo and become the apple of Leo's eye. Mm -hmm. All the messages have been good, however, so if you have Libra or if you have uh, Cancer or Leo somewhere in your chart, Virgo, I would recommend taking advantage of those readings. Also, there are other Earth sign and Virgo readings on the channel as well. But let's get into your message and see what Spirit has to say in regards to your current love energies. And what's coming towards you, what you need to know. What's the advice for Virgo today, Spirit? What's the story for Virgo in regards to love and romance? Let me get some messages for Virgo today. Highest messages of love and light. All right, one more shuffle and we'll get into your message. What do we have at the bottom? Eight of bubbles, detachment, walking away from something. Bubbles, cups, they usually have to do with your emotions or your health. So again, this is either detoxing or this is detaching, right? You're mining your emotions, right? You're leaving behind things that no longer serve you or that no longer resonate with you, right? Not sure if someone's walking away from you. But yeah, it looks like we had an argument here. It's a sort of a misunderstanding or a disagreement here. Mm -hmm. What's the rest of the message? Chariot? Whoo! Someone's trying to get away? We have, uh... <laughs> so we have transportation. This is also willpower, so an inner strength as well. Like the, the, the ability to, um kind of like be consistent like um if you get knocked down you get back up and keep going here which is willpower so is this person coming towards you or is this you leaving behind someone and this is cancerian energy so again you may want to watch cancer's reading today uh king of bubbles yeah cancerian energy here so hmm. This could be romance coming towards you. I'm trying to figure out why there's five of storms here. Now, again, this could be interracial. I was picking that up in Leo's reading. Someone could speak a different language than you. This could be braille or sign language or whispering or whatever the case may be. It's just a misunderstanding. The eight of bubbles, though. Oh, so someone doesn't. Oh, so someone doesn't want to be around you when you're drinking or multiple stories here so take it how it resonates and don't get offended someone doesn't want to be around you or you don't want to be around someone when they're drinking or either on their moon cycle chariot cancer feminine energy nurturing so it's something like that or when you're on drugs yeah someone does yeah someone doesn't like being around you when you're on drugs or drinking or on your moon cycle basically when you're being over emotional right there's like truth bombing when people get too drunk that sort of thing. Um, king of gems. So king after king. Hmm. The king of gems comes out after the king of bubbles. I'm getting a lot of images. I'm actually getting a lot of a lot of channel messages. And this could be like someone's uh, a masculine, like a husband. Because this is a husband. This would be like a rule that he has for his household or something like that. Hmm. Or I'm not sure if this is something that he does like he needs to he probably instead of arguing yeah instead of arguing with an emotional woman or this could be to be an emotional man they'd rather just go for a drive walk away from the situation 
or yeah, um, they may have to create some sort of a rule where it's like, we don't do that in this house, whatever this is, drugs, alcohol, getting over emotional, right? Being rude just because you're on your moon cycle and using that as an excuse to do things like, so, hmm, interesting. Three of Embers. Meeting you halfway, so yeah, it's a, it was a misunderstanding. Someone's willing to meet you halfway in this sort of a situation here. Eww. Drink responsibly. <laughs> Drink and drive responsibly. But it's like, if you're not doing it together, don't do it. Just, just don't do it. Like, if a, if a couple is not able to have fun together, whatever, have a bottle of wine together, uh, together, then don't do it, right? I know that sounds hard, right? Yeah, it's like that sometimes. You'll have a drunk in a relationship and someone that's not a drunk, right? Mm, how do I want to pull these messages? We got the dang wind blowing everywhere. Mm, we got the Ace of Gems. So, windfall, monies, this is security, commitment. This could indeed be a marriage here. Ooh, someone's ooh, someone's thinking about a breakup, or they're like saying, it's almost like when a girl knows she does something she's not supposed to do, when she's like, I'm, you probably wish you never married me, or you probably wish you never had children with me, right? And it's like, I didn't say that, but women's intuition is dead on sometimes, right? The tower card, yeah, just blowing the shit out of the water here. So we have water major arcana on top of water major arcana. This would be nurturing energy. This may even be a car accident. Yeah, drive responsibly. Yeah. Ooh, someone could get blamed for something like this as well. Like messing up someone's car or um, drunk driving accidents. Yeah, so just use your discernment and watch what you're doing here. The tower card is a Scorpio uh, major arcana. <laughs> someone could be like <laughs> if it's not drinking and driving it's like sexting and driving right or something like that four of embers but the thing is what it, it it seems like this couple gets along with each other like it, it they do seem like soulmates they do seem like um like they trust each other like they're indeed there's love here king of bubbles there's romance right it seems like there's love here okay that's that's interesting right that was almost like a ghostly, ghastly moment because the car said, the car flew this way and I would normally, because over the past hundred times, they just blow up to the side. This car blew all the way up in the air and just was like floating in front of me like this. Or maybe I'm over-exaggerating, right? But I don't do stuff like that. <laughs> Those Pisces be over-exaggerating, right? Um, five of Embers, yeah, it's a fight. Now this could be sex. But this is a physical um, hardship, right? With the five of wands. Again, this could have been like drunk driving in an accident or something like that. This could be domestic violence even. Well, where, where's the rest of the cards at? Um, five of embers and the knight of embers. Yeah, sexual in the windows. Someone, it, it reminds me of, um, what's her name? That song getting some head it reminds me of that i know <laughs> sorry to be so vulgar but yeah someone could have been like performing sex acts while driving i said sexting because i didn't want to say someone was actually performing sex acts while driving <laughs> but that was two rows i'm gonna reshuffle because the wind is blowing like crazy yeah that car just blew it was yeah there's an accident because the way that the car just blew up it was just like all over the place that's how people drive when they're drunk all over the place. So take the messages how they resonate. I want to get more of your love energetics here. Yeah, it was, it's too much love up in Virgo's uh, <laughs> reading today. Yeah, see, they can often look at Virgo as the virgin or some sort of a prude. Like they don't like nasty things. So this could be like uh, someone trying to like get a Virgo drunk or something like that or someone to uh let let down their standards or something like that or maybe just let down their hair right again this could be a relationship this could be a marriage is this a vacation or a road trip you can't take a road trip 
and then have alcohol in the car like what that's not gonna work what's the message here for virgo today uh please spirit what's the love energetics for virgo what's headed towards virgo in regards to love and romance <laughs> wow yeah you gotta watch it sometimes so basically, I'm getting a couple, uh, someone, I don't know if they need to detox or they need to be taken to a detox or a 12-step program or something like that, because that's a close call. If you eat, it, yeah, if you get in an accident and you're still alive, you need to figure out not how to get in that situation again. So yeah, we may need someone that needs to detox for a while or refrain from drinking at certain times or on certain days or something like that. Definitely avoid drinking and driving. I've done it before. It seems kind of fun, but uh, I don't need that type of fun in my life. I'd rather just play a video game. <laughs> I'd rather just play a video game while drinking. <laughs> hey man, your wife likes to drink. Teach her beer pong with just your favorite uh, alcohol. <laughs> uh it's not the alcohol that's bad. It's what people do, man. It, it's the too much. I talked about the too much before. Too much of anything will kill you. Too much fun will kill you. Too much laziness will kill you. Right? Too much sex will kill you. Trust me, I know. <laughs> I, I know. I can, I can tell you a story. You'll be like, what the hell? Mm -mm -mm. Let's see. They really want to know. <laughs> but I really don't want to tell it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Well, the break deck message is the four of gems. So spirit saying be humble. So I, I don't know what that means, though. I don't know if that means if I should tell you, if I should not tell you. What's the other message? detoxing still mm -hmm. all right so we'll get one more break deck message for you guys today virgo and see what spirit wants to let you know in regards to uh love romantic energies all right if you're currently seeking a union or already in one all right don't be afraid of self-love as well all right love messages for virgo today's spirit Four of bubbles in the star car. So yes, someone sees you as wish fulfillment. Or this could be the way that you're feeling right now, elated. Someone could be feeling elated about you. Ooh, the wetness here. Jesus. The star card, the Aquarius. If you know what how Aquarius is represented, right? They're the water bearer. So you typically would see them with a big ass basket of water or a cup of water, right? And then the four of cups. Um it almost it's almost giving um sheesh. someone wants to give it up to you yeah okay so sean paul yep that's one of my favorite sean paul songs yep him and keisha cole but yeah arresting of the emotions but someone's being picky here uh, they have a specific um person that they're attracted to these this could either be celebrities or um high value people right this person may even want a child with you as well Yeah, talking about explosive back shots. You ever busted a vein? <laughs> For all my guys out there, Jesus. All oh, the memories. Anyways, yeah, sex. Someone definitely has sex on the mind here. Uh, for you, Virgo. Yeah, they always. They always want to get the Virgos. They always want to get the virgins, right? They always want to get the good guys and the good girls and turn them bad, right? <laughs> Rihanna vibes which popped up in the early uh, Libra reading because ASAP Rocky is a Libra, right? She's already had two babies from this guy in what, two years, three years? <laughs> hey man, it's, 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 it's the Libra thing, right? It's, it's a Libra thing. Anyways, catch you guys on the next one, Virgo. Peace. <laughs>